look close enough, there's a painful scar along the I-80 in North Sacramento. It's all Donna DiNapoli ever thinks about. It's a nightmare. It, it, literally, it's a nightmare. I, I, it reoccur it's a reoccurring dream that I have. The worst birthday a mother could experience. The memory I have of the um, chaplains coming to my door at 6.30 in the morning. Shane Holland was a son to Donna and the love of Brady Lawrence's life. I just loved him and didn't care who knew. That all came to an end on November 1st, 2014. The last conversation I had with him was, do you have a designated driver? And he said, yeah, mom, don't worry about it. Brady and Shane called the Lyft driver just after one o'clock in the morning. It was raining pretty hard that evening. Brady says the driver had just gone on the I-80 westbound when he swerved out of the way for a stalled car, losing control, crashing into a tree. I had to hold my best friend's body in my arms that night in that car, and it was something I'll never be able to forget. In a CHP report, the Lyft driver was labeled the cause of Shane's death, but the Sacramento DA's office chose not to prosecute, saying in part, there's not sufficient evidence to file charges. How could he be the cause of a car accident that killed my son and he's not even received a ticket? So Donna's attention turned to Lyft. They've never called me or sent me an email or a letter or anything to express any kind of condolences. Lyft did respond to KCRA saying our hearts go out to the families and loved ones involved in this tragedy. The rideshare company adds it has a $1 million liability policy for accidents just like this. Brady was hospitalized in ICU for several injuries. It was originally they said that they would they were offering to help me any way I can. I sent them a few bills and then they stopped. To date, Brady says the only compensation from Lyft has been free ride credits. I didn't even respond because I honestly didn't know what to say. Donna and Brady now have lawsuits against Lyft. But no one has taken responsibility for his death. Shane's life is now a marker on the I-80 and his death a potential chain reaction. In a response to the lawsuits, Lyft says as passengers, Brady and Shane knew the risks of getting into the vehicle and the driver was an independent contractor, not an employee of the rideshare company.